Uh, hello everyone, it's me, Florence. Welcome to day nine of the Florence Forum, a daily newsletter and advice column hosted by me, Florence. You'll have to forgive my glasses. I thought Monday would be better than it was, and now I'm simply exhausted. But the show must go on. Welcome back to my bunker. It's time for advice. Happy Tuesday. <sighs> it's important no matter how you're feeling to keep going. And I am living proof of that. All right, here in the clutch we have two letters today. Here we go. I'd like to ask Florence about her first friend. Who were they? How did they meet? Are they still friends? Why or why not? Anonymous. Well, that's strange. You wrote in the third person. Florence met her first friend when she was very little. There was a girl who lived in the house. Her name was Gladys. She wasn't a relative. Some said she was imaginary, but that's just because she was sneaky. There's a difference. She only wanted to be seen by those who wanted to see her and who she reciprocated those feelings toward. So I was called a liar for a long time, but Gladys was very real and we played lots of hopscotch and jacks. And uh, anyway, she ran off. She ran away on my 13th birthday. Uh, so uh, still friends, I would say, but I haven't seen her in a very long time. And I'm sure she's doing very well and taking care of herself. She had incredible cunning. I admire that. Any time I see it in another person, cunning is my favorite attribute. I think that answers that. Terrific. Enjoy that, Anonymous. Now, second in the clutch, we have a question. Dear Florence, as someone who lived through prohibition, any advice for those of us now held up at home with a limited supply of booze? Signed, D. Pendant. Well, D. I have to say... <laughs> The Prohibition was a remarkable time because, you see, once everything was outlawed, it made things a little more fun, you know. We didn't really stop drinking. We just started being a little more saddle about it. And I think this could be another opportunity, you know. You're in your bunkers, I'm in my bunker, but are we going to stop with the revelry? Absolutely not means sometimes you have to take matters into your own hands. So, my question to you, D, is you have a limited supply of booze. How else can you get your hands on some? Now, you don't want to risk anybody else's health. Your own is your own matter, I suppose. I won't get in the way of that. So don't start coughing on people or going out and getting into their quarters or waving around a bayonet. Those are all mad ways of getting what you need, but maybe you have a little extra, little extra mouthwash lying around. I'm not telling you what to do with it, but there's more than just washing your mouth and I'll leave it at that. There's lots of ways to have fun. Booze is only one of them. And I support all my sisters, brothers, siblings who want to abstain. That is your choice and I support you. But this is what Dee asked and so Dee, I shall answer. That's it for today. You know what? I feel supercharged now. This is a way to wake up. Wake up with me every day on the Florence Forum. Write to the, the Florence Forum at gmail.com if you have questions or ideas and suggestions. Uh, we do this every day. Can you believe it? Remember, everyone, stay lovely.